We're gonna do that. Okay, spit it. Okay, so um, introduce yourself. Um, no, I mean I am actually uh, a diamond player. Like I have four accounts in diamond. Okay. Which is pretty much hard stuff. You know, I I can't like climb master, but I have like pretty much basic knowledge of how to get to diamond. Okay, yeah, I feel you. It's like it's like you're not a billionaire, but you know how to become a, a millionaire. Yeah, so basically, I, I can get to diamond easy than other people. Yeah, I, I hear that. I hear that. Okay, so um, so what do you think you're lacking in game? I feel I'm lacking, like, so there's like like couple of things, right? I could tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Um, number one, I feel like. My transition from high plat to low plat isn't due to skill. It's due to my my personal uh, bad stuff, right? I don't know, like uh, demons or tilting, or whatever. But there's so many ways to measure that, such as uh, the like when I play higher plats, I I lose because I don't belong there, and that's why I get demoted. When or when I'm playing the same champion over and over again, I get overconfident because usually when I play a new champion. Not a new champion, but like one of my old mains. Like I do really good, but then I guess I guess mm -hmm. they get overconfident, and or I get stuck in like a certain pattern that I think works, and I keep doing it even though I'm aware of all this, and and then I just keep losing a lot of games. Ooh, thank you for the follow. And I keep losing a lot of games. And okay, so wait, wait, no, there's more, there's more, <laughs> there's more. Okay, okay. Right. And and then and then and then I, I get demoted, right? Or I'm playing really well, and then I just get tilted because I lose, I lose a. I get tilted usually if I lose lane. Um, so, so then I get tilted and that's, that stays with me, but I don't know I'm tilted and I just keep losing games. Or, so, uh, yeah, yeah um, Go you on. mean top or mid, by the way? Which one? Uh, I would, I would want to main mid, but I, I'm pretty good top and jungle. Those are my roles. Top and jungle. So, which one is your primary? <laughs> Uh, mid. Mid, okay. So mid, right? Yeah. So, um, what do you think is like the job of a mid mid laner? Um, pressure. Uh, I'll say one thing. It's it's pressure. If you're not applying pressure, then you may as well, like, not 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 exist in the game. <laughs> if if I choose choose one thing. But I guess okay. other things would would be, uh, c control of like objectives, right? Because if you die, that's a free dragon. Uh, if yeah, if you don't have pressure, that's a free dragon, right? Uh, to 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 punish other lanes for overextending or like with your jungler, right? Mhm. Mm uh, I I mean I don't I don't want to list off stuff you do like in the lane, just like stuff that 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 you have effect in like the broader sense of the game, the the macro sense, right? So I was I'm looking at op. that gg. Oh, yeah, it's open playing since season three, right? Yeah, oh season two. But I started what? ranking like like I took rank seriously around season four I think, and oh, then okay. and I took it more seriously like in season five and six. Okay, so based on what you just said, you got one thing right, but you uh, you forgot to say two more important things. What is it? On what on what mid laner uh, is supposed to do? First, mid laner needs to make sure to keep track of the enemy jungler. Oh, okay. Have you noticed that? Um, because like you're you're like you're in mid lane, right? Usually when I'm in mid lane I try to like keep track of the enemy jungler. But that's like stuff that I consider to do like within your lane. Yeah, because in mid lane you have two sides that open, right? So you're vulnerable to any ganks, right? Yeah. So because like you have like two sides that could come from yeah, so if you keep track of the enemy jungler, you can prepare for a gank or a counter gank. And, an, and another job of mid laner is to actually secure Skullcraft. I don't know if you heard that before. No, make I never sure, do that ever, make actually. Sure to help, make sure to help your jungler secure the Skullcraft. Okay, so how, how would I go about doing that then? You have, you have to ping your jungler or tell your jung jungler do, to do let's take your skullcrab. Especially in bot lane. Have you noticed most of your games or most of our games? Bot lane is always the one getting stumped all the time. 
I don't know if you like that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess that's just the current meta, right? Yeah, so basically, the meta right now is... Top and bot lane. Win game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be honest, it doesn't matter what meta it is because if it's... you stomp bot lane, you automatically win games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I, you see, you, I think you also it doesn't matter bot. what meta it is because it's like it's lower elo and and a lot more things are viable, right? What is you're in plat four, right? Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Plat three is considered high elo, but you are. I don't know, order, uh... like. I don't. I don't agree with that. I think, I think, uh, like, mm -hmm. like high elo would be like, like challenger masters, right? Because that's when when meta when metas actually start to matter. Because, it, like, you, you, I watched Cutie Pie stream. He plays Jin Zhao top lane all the fucking time, right? Or mm -hmm. and like and like that should not work, but it does because he's he's really good at the game. Uh, I think, at, at like no, top no, 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 twenty, no, no. that's that's not it. The thing is like. Uh, when you see Cutie Pie playing top lane Xin Zhao, right? It's I, not. Okay, what are you saying again? You I, first, feel, I feel like I feel like Cutie could be playing anything top lane and do really well, and lower elo such as like low masters. I feel like I, I feel like any any pro player like if Birkson was playing Pantheon AP Pantheon, mid lane he he would be like all the mid laners up to like high diamond. Okay. You might be right about that. I right? am right. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but based on... I'm just basing this statistic, alright? Basically, it says in this that everyone around flat 3 up, high elo. Well, also, I think it depends on the regions too, right? Because I think NA is one of the worst regions. Mm, so No, the worst, re the more worst region is in, uh, I think... Nordic East or something? Australia? Australia? Yeah. Well, it's it's one of the worst, right? It's like I don't know, like yeah. ten. It's like but we're we're not three. really the worst, you know. We're not really the worst. You know that in Korea, the the ladder is even worse. What do you mean? I thought it was like the best. No, I've been there. Um, yes, it is the best in terms of like finishing the game, like people surrender right away. Okay. So, but based on, and A is more of like you know we have hope. No. You have hope in NA. Okay. Yeah. yeah like, okay. You know, no, nobody. Nobody wanna wants to like surrender, even though the game is over, right? I I, I guess is... I guess the, the the mindset or the culture is different, but I feel like the the Koreans are better. Like just like just like mindset, uh, what they eat, you know, how they live. How okay, so how important this is for them? What, I don't okay, know. So in general, what do, you, what do you think? What makes a good player? Like, what um, do you think they did to be good or get to that high? Recognizing patterns right and, and and being being able to to incorporate a lot of the lot, lot of mechanics or, or, or techniques and making them automatic and and recognizing I guess the two most important things is uh, execution right of, of whatever you want to do and and making um, decisions that only have a positive outcome mm, you got it all right but I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you kind of knowledgeable actually. Um, right. I'm looking at your. Let me just. I'm looking at OP that GG, and yeah. like what you just said, you're playing like so many champions. Like you have 50% win rate with Fizz. You have 152 52 win rate with Maokai. Why? Why you can just focus in two or three? Um, if you look at my OP that GG, you scroll down my match history. I'm like, I'm just like. I, I usually just play like like a uh, fizz. Um, I mean, this this you started spamming this uh, Jace like four days. Yeah, so days. I, I, I like Jace, and I feel like um, I feel okay. So in the current meta, the way the way things are for fizz, it's so hard, it's so difficult, especially with the rework. That I feel that if I'm not playing perfect, I can't do anything with my lane, and I can't win the game. It, it, Same thing with cat. Yeah, like, same thing with cat. Like, like those, 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 um, like melee mages, they're terrible right now, and and it's all about like control mages. And I feel like with Jace, I can still play like I would with Fizz, but I it's there's so much more um, slack I get, and it, I feel like he's more impactful and funner. Yeah, the thing about cat is, is skill based, man. 
Like, yeah. it's a high risk, high reward champion. Yeah. So if you're really good at cat, you can climb the ladder fast. That's how it is. That goes the same with Jace. Jace is the strongest. Um, it's like a, Jace is like a champion that never gets nerfed and never gets buffed so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if he gets buffed so much that they just gonna nerf him a little bit. They're not really touching Jace that much. Oh, hold on. Tell, answer this guy's question about securing your squad. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, wait, so how does it help with securing scuttle crab? I never understood that. Oh, because remember like um when you're like mid laner, right? Yeah. And basically if you if you secure scuttle crab in the bot side, like near the dragon, right? Mm hmm If you secure that, the enemy jungler will only have one way to go on gank other lane. I'm mean, gank the bot lane. Wait, that's actually smart. So they gonna go you you can just ping that to like the your jungler that the enemy jungler is gonna be there because yeah. remember wh when you're a jungler right and then you saw that scala crab is done right you're not gonna go there because mm -hmm. you don't want to be seen right okay. so you need to think so, okay all right so you do you want me to repeat it again or what no yeah so what i'm saying you uh, the enemy jung the enemy jungler don't want to be seen by the scala crab right so he's yeah. gonna go the other way because so I used just... to main Udyr before, like, season mm -hmm. 6 when I got to Silver, my first season. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's little things like that that wins you the game. I know, like, some people will say, like, yo, it's just a scallop grab, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not that important, but the truth is... I never thought is, about it that way. Yeah, the truth is map control wins your game. It's not kills. No, it's what it's knowing what the other other person's thinking getting yeah. ahead of me. Uh, I'll be honest with you you can literally play any champion as long as you know how to play around the map you can just carry games yeah I agree I agree I won a game I went 0-8 top lane alright I went 0-8 all I did is secure vision around the map that's all I did yeah I'm buying pink ward all the time and I keep telling my team where the enemy jungler is. I, I want a game like that. I want games like that. And you gotta be like, you, got, you guys need to realize too that in NA, those happen, you know, like things things in the map happens even though they're ahead. It doesn't matter who's ahead because they're gonna make mistakes. Hmm. And it's up, it's up to you as a mid laner to punish you're like a team captain <clears throat> with a team you need to tell everybody that you know what to do don't mm -hmm. you can expect you can expect your jungler to know what to do because i'll be honest with you most of the junglers don't even know what to do no yeah i definitely agree yeah that's yes. honestly true um yeah so yeah. in in solo queue you, like you can compare an lcs like everybody's pro no in in solo queue you need to look at every single one of your teammates like they don't know they don't know what they're doing so you need to be like a teacher, or you need like that coach. That's yeah. that's how you how you gain elo. Okay. Yeah. And well, then there's this uh there's this thing that I use in rank. That when wait I know like sometimes like you don't want to say it because you, I know it's kind of weird though. But are you okay? <laughs> and they tell. Me. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm actually need water. One second. Okay. Wait, wait, who said that? Like when you said that, like you, you tell the enemy laner, like, are you okay? And they tell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, okay, let me talk about the mental thing. All right, so about the mental thing, I know that's toxic, and um, because you say, are you okay after you kill them? But your goal here is to gain elo, right? No, no, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But like my goal. Yeah. So my goal changed a long but, time ago, dude. My goal ch changed from getting elo to like just being a better player. Dude, I, I killed someone. I killed someone. I, I didn't say anything, right? And then this guy just cursed me. Huh. So I'm just saying, like, being nice in league will get you... Well, will actually get you some, somewhere, but it doesn't really a ne necessary thing to do. Sometimes you need you need to be a little bit rude to gain elo. No, I understand because some people, they, they just, like, they need to be told directly or, like, uh, they don't understand because if you tell them, like, like, hey, um, keep trying, guys. You gotta, you gotta make sure you can do this. It's better okay, than like, so hey, what you did there was was really stupid. And you need to like, 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 yeah. just think, think, focus up. All right, focus up. And what are you saying? So yeah, um, 
just imagine this, right? You're in lane, right? Yeah. And then I killed you. Mm -hmm. And I said, are you okay? And then I said, are you okay? And then you didn't reply, you didn't say anything, right? And then I'm my jungler, I, you go back to lane again, and then my jungler came, and we killed you again. And I said, are you okay? What do you think happened to that guy's mentality? It's destroyed. Yes, who is destroyed? What that means? His lane is free. You just won the game. Yeah. Because he, he's what he's gonna do is he's gonna flame his jungle. Mhm. Mm and then his jungle is <laughs> gonna flame him, and then all of a sudden everyone's gonna flame each other. So there you go. You won the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and another thing is like when you one of your teammates flaming, just try to. Don't mute them because muting won't, won't won't help at all. What I'm saying is like try to make them feel good. Mm. So typically the way I deal with the, with these things, um, well, first of all, I have all chat turned off, <laughs> and because I feel like that's not necessary to help me be winning the game. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, and you will secondly, if you kept that on. And secondly, whenever my teammates flame me, whenever um, they do something bad or whatever. Um, they, they start saying something negative or wanting, wanting to give up. I tell them, do do your best. We can win. It's not over. Try your best. Like, it's words of encouragement. Just because I know that throws happen. We can punish certain things. And that's got me, like, like 20% more wins than, uh, than like, games that I should have lost, you know? And, and typically when people flame me, I, I don't... It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't affect me at all. Only, only my own mechanics and when I fail them is what tilts me. So when they say like, oh, you're fucking bad, why would you do that? Why would you feed my lane a kill or something? I just put, I hit him with the frowny face, and they usually flame me some more, and I hit him with another frowny face, and it just stops. And then I report them after, and it feels great. So that's how I deal with that. What I well, do uh, is, what I do is, when they're flaming me, I will, I will try to make, my, make them feel good. Like, I'm sorry, man, I'm really, really bad at this game. And then I do that sometimes, too. Yeah, because they will, they will feel accomplished. Like they, they will feel, they will think that they hurt your feelings. That's what the thing is. Like when people are losing the game, they wanna like Blame throw, throw that negative attitude to somebody else to make other people feel bad, right? Yeah. To make them make them feel good. So if you take that negative attitude from them, I know it, I know this is uh, this like this is not a good thing to do. But if you take that negative attitude from them and then they feel good. Then maybe they will feel they will actually play better. Now. Hmm. So sometimes, yeah. sometimes. Well, sometimes, um, yeah, I do that. I do that too. I, I'm like, uh, when I feel lost or I don't know what to do, uh, and they find me, I just tell them like, hey guys, I'm pretty lost. Uh, I'm not sure where to be. I'm not sure how to w what my role is right now. And and usually they tell me they give me like advice or something, and I kind of do it and help sometimes. But I think it just depends, you know. I, I think what we can learn from this is just try try not try to like understand where they're coming from and don't feel bad about it. Right. Mm. So, any other question? Uh, how how do you deal with tilt? How do I deal with tilt? How, like okay. how? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I guess maybe, maybe ask it a better question, better way. When you're okay. um, what makes you tilted? How do you recognize that you're tilted? And how do you adjust? And and how and how do you, and how do you uh, de detail after the game? Oh, detail. So this is what I wait. Do. I asked like four things. Mhm. Mm Good. Okay, I mean, ask it again. <laughs> so, so um, what, what, what makes you tilted? Like, uh, how 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 do you get tilted in the first place? Typically, how do you recognize that you're tilted? How does it affect your play? And, 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 and how, how do you try to adjust when, you, when you're tilted? And then how do you detail after the game? Okay, so basically, in this, is, this is how I look at... Okay, let me like simplify this first. The thing about tilt, okay? Tilt means you're, you're mad, right? Yeah. Okay, based in League of Legends, right? So you, tilt means in League of Legends like you're trying to win. That's, that's just for me. Like, you're trying to win the game so hard that you're gonna go out of your way to say some bad words or anything like that. Okay. Or you're gonna play bad because you're trying to win and then you, everything is not working the way you want it to be, right? Mm -hmm. So, when I'm tilted, basically, that's I just want to win. 
I'm so you, you're longer. trying really hard, but things aren't working out. Unlucky. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, pretty much. But what I'm saying is like I'm trying really hard. I'm not winning, and I realize that that's not supposed to be my goal. Mm. My your uh, your goal is not supposed to win. Your goal is supposed to be to improve. There's a big difference between the two. Preach. Because the 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 moment you start focusing on winning, and not focusing on what's going on in the game, like you just want to win, that's when people go toxic and all that stuff. <laughs> and then when you start thinking that you want to win, you're gonna tilt. So now I'll answer the other question. How do I untilt? No, no. Um, I, uh, how do you recognize that you tilted? When I'm I'm just focused on winning. Okay. When things are when things are not going right, and then I'm just focused on winning, and then I'm trying to st start flaming people. Oh, so when you start flaming, you realize that you tilted and stuff. Yeah, that the real estate too, because you care too much about the game. Okay. And I, I the guess thing is, the thing, yeah, the thing about the game is like you should supposed to look at the game as like, okay, what did I do in this game? Not what what my teammate did, because if you start thinking about what your teammate did in that game, that means you're tilted. Okay. It needs to be you, just yourself. All right. Nobody all right. else. The, uh, anybody like your top play, your top lane jungler, ADC support don't matter. You're supposed to be just looking at yourself. Right, so, how, so how, how do you detail after the game? Okay, how do I detail? So this is what I do. I will stop for a good... This is just me though, a good an hour. And mm -hmm. then just like sit down, relax, drink some water, and watch some... Watch some TV or, you know, watch some YouTube video. And just... You know, think, like, think what happened in that last game, hmm. and only think of what I did and what my teammate did. Like, did I do this right? Did I do this right? And recognize that those mistakes that I did in the game, I can improve in it. Like, that these games don't matter, you know? Mm -hmm. I can improve. That's it. You, you, all you have to think is that you're, you can improve and yeah nothing else that's all you have to think and make sure like just to forget anything like those that toxic player that keep calling you bad you know you got gank or you know you died here and that you did some stupid stuff you forget about about all that but you do not forget the things that you did wrong and improve in it that's it okay well, and another thing well, once you once you stop playing league make sure to play some music you know some happy things or get oh, yeah. your, I, have, I have a pet cat or just pet my cat hell yeah you know stress is gone at that point yeah it's because you, yeah. you put all your stress into your cat that's right the thing, the thing is like I, I mean I do have a job so it's like you, you guys have jobs too right yeah no. yeah so basically, basically <laughs> no what, what, yeah, so basically what, basically what's going on is like <laughs> If you guys lose the game, you guys think, "Oh, I have no time to play anymore. I can't climb anymore." Yeah, there you go. That starts to tilt again. Once <laughs> you stop playing, and then you really, you realize that you no longer have time to play. And when you when you come back and play again, you're tilted. It doesn't matter because you keep thinking that you no longer have time to play. Hmm. Yeah. So it's all about mental, dude. It's all about mental. Yeah. What about what about you, Twilight Moon? How do how do you tilt? What makes you tilted? Um, it's like a support group. Not really much. It's just like, uh, when the mid laner like barely lived with that one HP. Oh yeah, that's a tilting. And then just that game that's like one HP always. That's oh no. Where I get to the point where it's just like focusing on winning, where I don't learn anything. And then I just like focus on winning. And then sometimes I worry about getting demoted, so I keep on playing and then have lower percent win rate, you know. Huh. What, what, so how do you recognize you're tilted? Um, just when I see myself, like, as you said, focusing on winning, or just on, like, me worrying about me getting demoted or anything like that. Okay. Yep. So, and, and how do you detail? Uh, detail. 
as he said music and I just watch YouTube because if I pet my cat she'd nail me oh <laughs> no yeah. all right well uh, what else do I have to ask you well how, how, how would you say that you your, your transition from being a plat player to a diamond player what was that? Oh what yeah. Um, I what, know, what, wait, what, I what did you realize? Or, or what did you do differently? Mm -hmm. Or what, what did you add on to what you're already doing to make you become a diamond player? Um, become a diamond. Um, basically, the, the difference between diamond and plat is really, really small. Wait, 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 wait. What I'm diamond are you? What diamond number? Uh, four. You diamond four? Oh, I, I got one diamond four account and then diamond five, six D league points. Um, okay. The other three. Like somewhere in 60 and 40. I faced with, I was with a full uh, game of di high diamonds and main thing I noticed a lot less talking. Um, yes, I last left talking. More pinging and more grouping. Yep, and if, 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 if you notice at the end of the game, they're all gonna leave. Yeah. I, I just notice like, like at no the end of the game. Yep, no one talks that at all. They don't, they, yeah, they don't care what happened, they don't care what happened to the game, they don't care who fed, they don't care anyone they're just gonna leave because they only focus on themselves hmm they do not focus on anybody else okay that's the difference between high, high elo and low elo because low elo keeps talking they're like little kids say, yeah 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 no, this guy's bad this guy's bad <laughs> they are like little yeah. kids yeah so basically they they focus on somebody else they literally tilt themselves before I mean, sure, they think, oh, the next game is going to be fine. No, it's not going to be fine because you already tilted yourself. Hmm. So you, you need to take a break. But the, in low elo, they don't take a break. They always go for the next game and thinking that the next game is going to be the same, you know, the, a different story. I noticed that when I was looking at Challenger OP.GG, so I kind of get an understanding of what to build or versus what, uh, huh? whatever. Um, usually they have games where it's like, like they play like two games every couple hours. And and even if they win or lose, it's just like they they space out their games. They they don't they don't play like eight games in a row. I mean, dude, uh, in my queue, I wait like six minutes. <laughs> yeah, so that's the wait time in diamond, diamond four. Okay. So in di in di in diamond plus high diamond, like probably, I don't know, probably the same thing. But in I think in master and challenger, you need to wait like more than ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And the thing is, like, like I said, like, like I said, like iron out mistakes. Yeah. How, how do you how do you like, notice your mistakes, and how and what do you what do you how do you um, practice them? Um, I go in um, bot, I rule all my runes and try to CS. Okay. That's like the that's the mechanics of trying to CS like imperfect. So. And I'm in when I'm laning, before I go for a trade, I will look at my map. Okay. So and then I always ward. Uh, I mean, I'm a I'm a top lane and a jungler, so I always look at my map in top lane, and then I always ward around two forty five. I ward my bush, so I always keep in track, and then I always ping my jungler, and then I'll say, "Yo, Leeson is here." No. Yo, but that enemy jungler is here. Take the dragon. And then Kaz in the last game, Kazix did did what I said. So told him. I mean, I know Lee Sin is in top lane, so I, I remind my jungler that, yo, Lee Sin, is top, Lee Sin is in top lane, make sure you win the, the bot lane. Remember the first blood is in bot, bot, bot lane? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? I actually told Kazi, go bot lane, gang them. They're, they're push. So I'm dictating the jungler what to do. So, that's pretty much it. There's a question in chat. Um, how do you identify the, your worst habits? My worst habit, like in game. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you see yourself messing up the most, because when Cat got nerfed, I didn't even know she got nerfed with her E being six seconds longer. And then, like every now and then, I try to do a fast combo, and then I see myself that's not working, and then. I remember that it's a bad habit because she got nerfed. I mean, my worst habit is 
It's like trying to trying to kill someone and not looking at what's what's gonna be the outcome afterwards. Like I'm go and I know I can kill that person, but I have no idea if the enemy jungler is coming to kill me. That's my worst habit. Like I'm trying to like uh practice not to do that all the time. You know? But sometimes because we're just humans, right? So sometimes I do it. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, I'll tell you right now, like, my, my priority of, like, uh, or, or I want to, like, focus on. Oh, hold on, I'll be back. Like, alone, you were a pretty good Jace. You just have to learn how to zone people out. See your true damage. Did, did you watch the whole potential. game? Wait, are you in game or did you watch the whole game? What? Uh, are you in game with with us? No. Last game? Oh yeah, I was on the last game. Yeah, I was cat. Mm. Like, I saw how he was. If you just notice his damage, and how to make people not want to get farm at all, then that'd be amazing. Yeah, like zone. Jace is really good at zoning. That's what mm -hmm. I, I kind of want to tell him that too. Hey, I'm back. Like, so, yo, um, what? You tell him. <laughs> um, so, I saw that you're most likely knowing what to do, but you just have to learn how to zone more. Mm. Because, like in higher elos, I've been noticing if they don't get farm, then that screws them over a lot late game. I agree. And I see what, like, you're actually doing fine with Jace, you just have to know like how to zone and everything i th and top lane it's really easy to zone because the bushes are there i usually play with the bushes and if people don't respect that i can just get a free kill um but typically in mid lane if the if the lane isn't long enough for me to just walk up and zone you out of xp or, or cs because mm -hmm. your turn is usually right there and it's it's difficult for me to pressure when when the lane's so short you know what i'm saying no that's just, yeah. that's the problem that, that i'm having and and typically, when when let's say that game for instance, uh, I, I, I felt like against you that I, I could have gotten that first blood, but I canceled an auto. Unlucky, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're so dude, dude, you would have got so just fun. Holding flash there. Yeah, no, but if I did, if if I had an extra auto there, like I could just flash yeah. autoed and you would have died. You know it. Be honest, mm -hmm. but uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, that. like, since, since you started Dorn Shield, it, like, like, poking you is, is, isn't going to be a, a viable option with my auto. Like, I have to go in for big trades, and I can't go in for big trades because the, I don't know, it's, it just, everything felt so weird and, and, and cucked from your Dorn Shield, so. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I think, don't know how to lane against Jace at all, because Jace was, like, season 6 for me, mm. so you have the higher advantage of actually surprising people's damage since... That's the first Jace I ever saw within my, like, 400 games. Really? Holy... Yeah. Wait, really? He's a meta now. Yeah. Well, I guess I he's, he's, he's always been meta, but it's just he's more popular now. I haven't even barely All seen right. Jace. So I got my food, and I'm going to eat and watch some YouTube videos or something while I stream. Yeah. But uh, any last words? I was planning on going to bed after okay. that game. Hey, thanks for the follow, um, man. And hopefully you tune in next watch, time. I'm going to go watch some anime, actually. All right. Any last words to close out? Anything you want you want oh. to let the people know? I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. I'm gonna call it Solo Q Anonymous. <laughs> uh, join my Discord. Join your uh -huh. Discord. Okay, I'll join it. All right, man. That's all for me, dude. All right. Well, take care, guys. Hopefully, I see you you some more in my stream, and we can hang out. Uh, thanks for the information and knowledge. Uh, I'll try to digest it and take it to heart. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.